folks? Matt here from Crypto News. We are live with Sandeep Nailwalt from Polygon. Sandeep, thank you so much for coming on today. Really appreciate you having us. I want to start off by asking you about Polygon and your incredible year. How's that been so far for you and the team? It's been it's been really great. It's been a very rewarding journey, but on the on on the same uh, side, it has been very very taxing. Like you know, I think we all age like five years in or maybe ten years in the last two and two or three years. So yeah, definitely. Like I've picked up weight. I've lost hair. Same be same with my team. So yeah, it's been rewarding as well as like very hard working time also. I love that. Well, you still look great, and I got a lot more gray hairs than you. So that's a great place to start. <laughs> Strategic expansion goals for 2022. You guys are everywhere in the news right now. What do those strategic expansion plans look like? So the strategic uh, expansion plan are, you know, from our side is like very heavily focused towards the zero knowledge technology. Uh, we recently announced a billion dollar fund on zero knowledge. And then uh, out of that, we have done multiple acquisitions. Uh, we announced Polygon Hermes, which was like was the, the first uh, zero knowledge product that we launched. Then we also did this, uh, uh, you know, Polygon Nightfall, which is with the Ernst & Young, uh, one of the big four, uh, you know, companies in the world uh, in terms of audit and consultancy. And then we have multiple other uh, initiatives also on that front to be launched very soon. And uh, we will be very, very heavily, you know, focused on zero knowledge in the next six to eight months. And we believe that zero knowledge is the ultimate holy grail for the for the blockchain scaling. And that's where we are going. How might Polygon be affected by the upcoming Ethereum merge and any plans to combat this? It's actually very no no. It's actually very positive for any layer layer two. See, right, all layer two projects have to put some data or some proofs back to Ethereum, and right now they cost a lot. So when the merge comes and then Ethereum becomes like let's say from 13 transactions to 30 transactions per second with this merge proof of stake merge, I'm not talking about the the sharding like 64 shards thing, which is at least three to five years away if at all it is coming. We are only talking about the merge that is happening, which is proof of stake. And many people think that, okay, the whole sharding and E2.0 is coming with this merge only. It's not. It's simply the merge from proof of work to proof of stake. And then, then Ethereum is going to have like, uh, you know, probably 30 transactions per second and all that. It's, it's, it's good for us. It's, it's good for all the layer two projects overall. And what trends do you see in Polygon and how is Polygon going to be used in the NFT space more specifically? So NFT already like, I mean, again, this, this is not a very widespread knowledge somehow, but NFTs Polygon is the biggest project. Like we recently spoke with somebody, I mean, I can't name, but one of the biggest platforms, uh, analytics platform, and they were doing an analytics on Instagram, for example. So, you know, 80% of the Instagram NFTs are on Ethereum, 15% are on Polygon, and the rest 5% is on other of them. Like, so Ethereum plus Polygon form like 95% of the NFT market. So, you know, Polygon doesn't have those big, like, uh, you know, your, your crypto punks and $100 million NFTs, but the smaller NFTs, which is what Polygon is built for, for games, for metaverses, Polygon has the leading position in that. And we are the largest uh, NFT platform in that sense. Like, they, we have probably 500 plus games deployed on Polygon and, and growing day by day. And how is the multi-chain blockchain landscape looking moving forward? I mean, we have been very clear that world is going to be multi-chain, but we feel that multi-chain is not on the layer one, but on layer two. So we believe the world will be multi-chain, but the multi-chain world will exist on top of Ethereum instead of multiple layer ones existing. We don't believe in that thesis. We believe that Ethereum is going to be the ultimate settlement layer. And on top of it, there will be a lot of layer ones or layer twos that will be built and connected with it. Got to ask the competitor question. Who do you see slash what project is your main competitor right now and how are you going to combat them? Starkware. Uh, I think the zero knowledge on the zero knowledge side, I think Starkware is the is, is, is the most formidable team. And uh, with our multiple zero knowledge efforts, we believe that, uh, you know, we, we would be, uh, you know, we would be able to edge ahead on that. But Starkware is a very formidable team. With how quickly you and the team are growing right now, would you ever considering doing a fresh capital raise? We, we actually, yes, we would be doing something in the future uh, and, you know, planning for something, we might do a small, you know, kind of couple days. So, Could you yeah. give us a crypto news exclusive right now, what that's going to look like? No, 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 not, I, unfortunately, I can't, but yes, we are, we would be looking for something. And your M&A strategy moving forward, our last question, it's, what is that looking like? It's going to be like? more and more aggressive, like, you know, I mean, we want to become the transaction layer of, uh, of Ethereum and we'll be, we'll be, we'll, we'll constantly keep doing that. Perfect. Sandeep, really appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thanks, guys.